Tony and Darren, thank you. A spokesman for the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey tells me this afternoon that Connecticut Limo still owes them $92,000 and the situation, if it's not taken care of by midnight tonight, the company might not be able to pick up and drop off passengers at New York City Metropolitan Airports. five months, Connecticut Limo still owes it $92,000 and time to resolve the matter is quickly running out. News 8 got wind of the problem from Leonardo Sena, a Connecticut Limo driver who told us he and other drivers have been approached by Port Authority workers about the situation in recent days. Not even the company told, I mean, told us, listen, we got that problem with Port Authority, we, we're trying to fix it. We find out about this because the people from the airport Sena claims the company takes money out of the checks of drivers supposedly to go to the Port Authority to pay for access to the airports. I'm scared right now to go to the airport to get people. Um, might be the police come to me, you know, to tell me, listen, you're not allowed to pick it up people from the airport. An attorney for Connecticut Limo acknowledges that the company is involved in a permit dispute with the Port Authority, but she can't comment on anything said by the Port Authority because the dispute remains in front of a district judge here in Connecticut. The company does reiterate that service to and from the airports continues as usual and no passengers have been or will be affected because of this dispute. Obviously a lot at stake right here. A lot of passengers who of course need to get to and from the airports and those drivers who of course are worried about their bottom lines. If we have an update on the situation, of course we'll pass it right along. Back to you. All right.